pronounce Eileen Perez. I'm an astrophysicist and this is how large is the sun compared to other stars. So I want to talk about the HR diagram which is kind of where we look at stars in terms of most of their life. So the HR diagram is a, is a diagram that kind of plots most of the stars during their uh, adult life. So like once the star is formed it kind of goes into something called the, the main sequence. And the main sequence is like this strip that moves across the, the that moves across the the HR diagram that relates the temperature with luminosity, so the spectral classes and the masses, and we kind of put all the information about stars, we can pretty much put it together with this one diagram. So over uh, the sun, our sun is a G2 class star. So here is G, and it has one solar luminosity. When we look at the luminosity uh, side of the spectrum, it's over here. This is one solar luminosity, and G2 will be around here. So if you draw a line across here, this is our location. So this is our sun. Now, this is, uh, this is a good perspective to see where our sun lays with respect to other stars. So here are the really small, low temperature, not very bright stars and here are towards like the bluer bigger stars hotter stars with larger radia ready um, so over here we have about 10 times the radius of our sun and over here we have about 0 0.001 the radius of our sun so as you can tell our star is kind of a mid-sized star it's an average star the radius of the sun is 700 thousand kilometers if you were to like if this was the Sun and this was the diameter of the Sun you can fit Earth a hundred and nine times along its diameter that's the size of the Sun so it seems fairly big but with respect to other stars is actually quite average my name is Eileen Perez I'm an astrophysicist and this is how large is the Sun compared to other stars